Praise the Lord. Thank you. That was a wonderful message. I'm telling you, a father is known by the influence he has on his children. What influence are you having on your children? Now, today we want to go and read the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 6 and verse 3. It is an amazing, you know, Solomon writes a very strong message here. Do you know what he says? If a, if a man, listen, if a man fathers a hundred children and lives many years, however many they may be, but his soul is not satisfied with good things and he does not even have a proper burial, then I say, better the miscarriage than he. <laughs> this is an amazing thing that Solomon is telling us. You know, Solomon says, you know, as a father, if you fail in fatherhood, you may have a hundred children, but die poor, but die in misery, have no food, but you have a hundred children because you didn't, you only, you know, gave birth to these children, but you did not provide fatherhood to these children. And he says, even when you die, you will not have proper burial. You will not have proper burial because there, there is nobody. And I have shared with people about my people, the Bukusus. I like the way they behave when they go to a funeral. Bukusus will go to a funeral. A man has died. A father has died. And you will see a place where a family is seated, you may find like we have six sons there or uh, six sons, six daughters, or you may find 10 sons or could be 20 daughters. And someone will whisper to a friend, now so-and-so has died. Did he leave behind anyone? Did he leave behind anyone? You know, when they ask this question, is this as though they are not seeing children? They are seeing children, but what they are saying, these children have never been fathered. These ones, these are useless non-entities. They will never do anything. In fact, if their father left behind anything, any property or like land, they are going to sell everything. These ones are, they are not prepared. They have not been fathered to be fathers. They have not been fathered to continue their family heritage. They have not been fathered to continue family dynasty. These are people that have never been, they have no guidance. Let me read that verse again. Oh my. It says, if a man fathers, if a man fathers a hundred children and lives many years, however many they may be, even if you had so many, you had a you, you had, uh, hundred children and lived for so many years, but yet failed to play your role as a father, your soul will never be satisfied with good things. And you will never have a proper burial. Never have a proper burial. And Solomon says, it would have been better if you were a miscarriage. Isn't that a very tough statement? You know, Solomon is saying, if you cannot be a good father, the best thing that, you'd have, that would have happened to you was that you shouldn't have been born. You should have been a miscarriage that never saw the sun, a miscarriage that was never given a name, a miscarriage that has no memory. Because you will disappear even though you lived for a hundred years, but you will disappear as though you never lived. Because the very little that you left behind, because you did not, you did not, you did not father your children and train them properly, even the little that you left behind, including your own grave, will be sold. It will be owned by other people, and your children will be scattered and they will become vagabonds. Be, not because of their mothers, but because you as a father did not play your role of providing fatherhood to your children. This is a serious message. Oh, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, 
help each one of us to be fathers. So that, Lord, whether we have one child or a hundred children, that we'll raise them properly so that, Lord, good may be in our lives and that our end may be, gracious, may be glorious. We ask for forgiveness, Lord, for not having done what we ought to have done. And Lord, fill us with your nature and your character from today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This broadcast was brought to you by Angelos TV. To continue enjoying this spiritual nourishment, click on subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video. Thank you and see you in our next broadcast.